2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Northern Shore Open is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Delighted to have 2002 PGA Championship winner Rich Beam in the booth. I'm Luke Elvey and it's a good morning to Henny Koyak who's out on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke, I'm pleased to be covering this featured group. We've got a fresh rivalry developing between these two players as well. So that should provide some great entertainment to the spectators this week. Well, Henny, it sounds like this player's going for gold. They're trying to beat Xander Shoffley. I wouldn't want to try and beat an Olympian. A gold medal winning Olympian with hair as good as Xander Shoffley and a swing as good as Xander Shoffley? No, no thank you. I'll leave this up to them. Yes, I'm just looking through his list of weaknesses and let me just list them off now. Yep, none. Good luck to you. Just a little off with the accuracy there, unable to find the green. Can't fault him there. This rough is nasty. No fault in missing the green. What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? I've been all around this, tried to read it, just can't see it, but he's got about 22 feet. Nice little par putt here. I can't believe this. Is this going to go in? Oh, so close. Just a short putt remaining here. Sitting at one over for the day. Here we are at the second tee. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. A wonderful shot, a chance for Booty here at the second. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. This looks good. Yeah, nice effort from him. He bounces back from the bogey at the last hole. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. It's been neck and neck. He's actually tied with his rival. This is tough. Can he do it? And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. It's a decent fair way to hit this one. Not sure if they'll find it, though. They're in the bunker, looking for an up and down here. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, Rich, how good.
good is that? That'll help make a big move. Tony Finau is currently leading the event as we head to the next hole. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. Penny, what does that lie look like? Looks like they have a good lie here in the second cut. <laughs> Going with the five iron here. Quality shot, that one. We'll now move over to Xander Shoffley. He's one stroke behind his rival in this event. Ooh. Yeah, that's some golf, particularly from that terrain. A chance to move to a couple under the card with this putt. That was a gallant attempt. That's disappointing. Just three feet to go to the hole. Don't miss this. They can be costly. This is what they have left for a par. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth. Going with the seven. This one needs to kick left. Oh, that's a great approach, John. Already had a few birdies today. This for another. And as they stand over this putt, it's for a share of third spot. And that's for Birdie. Well hold. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. He's currently tied for third. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Oh, I like this. The cover's coming off the big dog. Time to let it loose. Well, this should find the short grass. Four victories so far this season. The interesting choice of the driver here. Getting ready to play their third. Currently a shot off the lead. That dog will hunt. This putt to move into a tie for first.
This looks like it's got the speed and the line. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? So after that effort, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. And now at three under overall. And now we find ourselves with a par four here. Well, let's see if they can roll off that boot at the last. Lovely momentum here. Well, Rich, this won't come as a big surprise, will it? Because there's a lot of people talking about this player. They've been performing beautifully all season. And many think they can win this event. Luke, absolutely. Week in and week out, this player has consistently performed at the highest level. i got to believe he's a lot of people's favorites to win this tournament. Going with the eight iron here. Uh oh, this one's headed for the rough. A bit wild on approach there. No, they tried to fade that one in there, but got a little steep on it. Didn't that look good for a long time? Standing over this one, and it's a very long putt. This is important. Big par putt here. Just didn't drop. Putting now for a bogey. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. <laughs> Opting for the hybrid, I think. That's a tad wayward. Not quite finding the surface. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Ooh, wouldn't that have been nice? Well, that's an impressive little chip. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. As we head now to the par five next. That's not the one he wanted. Henny, I'm sure you've got a better look of that lie. I really like the look of this. It couldn't be lying any more perfect.
Well, that was a good strike. That was pretty well played out of the fairway bunker. We'll now move over to Xander Shoffley. Yeah, he needs to press on that gas pedal. He's two strokes back from his rival. Xander Shoffley, delightful player out of San Diego, California. He's got that cool vibe about him. Came out one early a few times. Uh, but then he seems to have struggled to find that next step, hasn't he? He's, he's sort of golf's almost man, except when he got that gold medal put around his neck. I think that took his confidence to a place where it should have been in the first place, Luke. I think that this young man, he's got no weaknesses, very little weaknesses, if anything, in the game. I look at him and think, why hasn't he won more? Well, the problem is, is that he's put himself in contention so many times that there's only one person in the game that has won at a clip that he could have, and that's Tiger Woods. When you put yourself into contention as often as he does, you're just not always going to win. Somebody is going to come from, from back in the pack, shoot a great round, uh, and you might struggle just a little bit, whatever the case. But, yes, he hasn't closed as many tournaments as he would have liked, but he is there each and every week. i, I got to say, this kid is hes a world beater. He's going to be phenomenal. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Well, this one looks like it's heading to the sand. Sitting at two under, tied for fourth. Good opportunity here to move into a tie for third. Ooh. This putt is about eight feet. Putt is underway. They're nicely hold. It's Tony Finau who currently leads. Pegging it up on the 11th hole here. Going with the five wood.
Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. And back to the course with the live action. Second spot on the leaderboard, or at least a share of it, if he can hold this. Come on, ball. Come on. Well, this was the conundrum, wasn't it? When the new rule came in, did they leave the flag stick in or did they take it out? I'm pretty sure they wish they would have taken it out there. And this one is for his par. And down it goes. Now three strokes back after that hole. You've arrived at a par five. Ah, uh, great shot. They're thinking of going for this one, guys. Got to be aggressive. Love this play out here. <laughs> Opting for the five wood. Well, that's certainly showcasing all their talents there. That's impressive. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. Oh, you set yourself up with an eagle opportunity. Big chance here. No, that's too bad. Well, I think they fell in love with the line, forgot about the pace. And on the leaderboard, they currently sit second behind the talented Tony Finau. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Tempo there was exquisite. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Setting up here from about 145 yards. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Oh, I like that strike. This one's heading well towards the green. And another fine-looking strike, this one. It'll find the green. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. We'll now move over to Xander Shoffley. He's happy, just came off a birdie. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Heading to the next hole, and this player is currently in a share of the lead with Tony Finau. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole.
Oh, that was pure. Sitting at four under for the day. Currently tied atop the leaderboard. Looks to be going with the six iron. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Okay, time to return to the action. What's in front of them, Henny? He's paced it, he's read it. It's time, little 27-footer. Their short game has been very impressive. They've been really sharp today. Oh, they're going to walk this one in. Well, nice to drop a putt of that length. Well done. And that will take him to five under. Oh, that was a touch of class. Wouldn't mind seeing that again. Now this, this is how you putt. Take another look at this. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. That's the kind of strike that's going to make them come back every day of the week. Taking aim from around 190 yards here. Wind coming right at him. Looks to be going with the five iron. Clubbing up, smart. Got to control it, though. Let's see. Nicely done. We'll now move over to Xander Shoffley. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. OK, let's get back to it, shall we? Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Just go ahead and tap that one in. Big putt for par coming up. And with that hole behind them, this player currently finds himself in a tie for first with Tony Finau. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Wow, they really put on a show with that approach shot, and their rival, Xander Shoffley, appears to be taking notice as well. Oh, good look at Birdie here. Yep, tracking nicely. And that's eight birdies today. And that will move him to six under par. And a quick look at the leaderboard has this player currently in first spot with Tony Finau second. Taking off now on a short par four. How is he going to play this? Lay back or go for it and extend his lead.
Nicely done. Second shot here on the 17th. Sitting at minus six, currently leading. Oh, that's a tasty looking chip. Top shot. Great touch. An opportunity to make a par here. Got a chance for the par. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. It's time to tee off on the 18th hole. Oh, that was flushed. Lining up from about 230 yards here. Currently in the lead by a shot. Oh, will this one hang on and find the fairway? Or is it headed towards the rough? And here we are with the third shot. Has the wind coming right into his face. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Really controlled the flight there nicely with that wind. Butting for birdie. This really looks good. And another round safely in the books.